What up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Jeffrey Rose Iceman V2013 YouTube channel this morning. Yep, Wednesday, May 29th. Uh, let's talk wrestling. This is what we usually do. Um, I think, as far as the WWE goes, the brand split will be coming to an end. Uh, this wild card thing, to me, makes no sense. Uh, so people can go back and forth to each brand. Just end the brand split. Because uh, right now it's really not making any sense to any of us fans out here. Uh, you know, and, and usually when they do the brand split, it usually comes to the point where they just end it anyhow. So why not do it? Period. And I think Roman Reigns on SmackDown, to me, is a waste for Roman Reigns. He needs to be involved in the bigger picture. And on SmackDown, there isn't much of a big picture there, let's face it. If, I mean, you, you everybody knows that. So anyhow, um, but whatever. It, you know, it is what it is. So, um, so wrestling in general, uh, the AEW, here's the thing, aren't, isn't everybody out there happy that there are more promotions out there to watch? Seriously, I mean, Ring of Honor has really diminished since Vince started taking people from them. And now AEW is around. And, and the same goes for Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling back, you know, when they started in 2002. And they went very, very well into like 2013. Although I'll go back to 2010 when Bischoff and Hogan showed up. They tried to make them like a WCW. It didn't work. They destroyed AJ Styles that year. Um, having him get pinned by RVD without even holding the thigh down on the pin. That's how friggin', you know, I, I, I call RVD a pompous ass. I'm sorry. He's in Impact Wrestling right now. They're pushing him to the hill. And I don't care. I really don't care. I was never a big fan of RVD. Yes, he was good in his days at ECW, but you're taking a guy like that and, and you're pushing him to the top of the mountain? Give me a break. Seriously, guys, give me a break. But anyway, so you got Ring of Honor, you got Impact Wrestling, and then you got even minor promotions like uh, Major League Wrestling. WOS Wrestling from the UK. You still got the House of Hardcore with Tommy Dreamer, who Tommy Dreamer seems to just float about wherever he wants to go, and they take him. But that's fine. It gives us more to watch. So, why is it that certain WWE fans will trash any promotion out there? I'm a WWE fan. I've been watching wrestling since like 1975 or 74. Um, back in the old WWF days when Bruno San Martino was the WWF champion and Pedro Morales was the Intercontinental champion. I've been watching it since way back then. You know, and then I got involved when I got to see uh, the NWA, which I thought was totally awesome. When the Crockett's own NWA, I thought wrestling was great. I got to watch the Ric Flair's, the Dusty Rhodes, um, and then the Sting came along eventually. But there was a lot of great stars back then. So... Now, we have Super Showdown in Saudi Arabia. A lot of stars don't want to go. I don't blame them. It's in the Middle East. The Middle East is the big, biggest explosion of our world. 
on the earth. It really is. I'm sorry to say that, but it is. Um, a lot of people don't want to go, and I don't blame them. But in any event, so with this super showdown, people are telling me Vince isn't desperate. You got Undertaker and Goldberg? Come on. You're going back in the past once again. Undertaker needs to retire. Goldberg, who was a one-time big guy in WCW, and then comes to the WWE, you know, he won the belt. He lost it to Triple H after, after Triple H had this belt for over, what, I think it was like over two years. He loses it and then gets it back after Goldberg had it and then holds it again. Forever, it seemed like. But, I mean, it is what it is. But my point being, WWE keeps going to the past. Relinquish the past. And now, at Super Showdown, Triple H, again, is going to be on the card, of course. You know, he can never keep his face out of a Super Show. And he's wrestling Randy Orton, whom he had a feud with years ago. And they... And granted, they had a great feud years ago. But you know something? That feud from years ago isn't going to amount to a hill of beans today. Seriously, it's not. So, I mean, Randy Orton's still active wrestling. Triple H. Well, when there's a big name card on the line... It seems like Triple H always seems to get on it. And guess what? Being a Stephanie McMahon husband, you're gonna. As far as AEW goes, they put on their very first pay-per-view and it was great. I loved it. I don't know how it's going to be later on as it goes on. But the point is, it's another wrestling promotion. I don't look at it as competing with the WWE. I look at it as an alternative to the WWE. Now, quote me on this. Alternative to the WWE. If you like it, you'll watch. If you don't, turn the channel. Same thing with the WWE. I've been watching them for years. I like Monday Night Raw. I watched like an hour of it. I didn't care for it. I flipped it off. Watch hockey. So, I mean, we all have that opportunity. We all are able to do these kind of things. So, let's see where AEW goes. And, you know, a lot of people are comparing it to WCW. I don't. There was only one WCW. Let's hope AEW makes a mark for themselves, and it's just, like I said, another alternative to watch the world of professional wrestling. Like I said, for me, and there's a lot of many, many other people out there, we just love watching wrestling. It doesn't matter. I mean, promotions have good nights, they have bad nights. It is what it is. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you all next time. This is the Iceman on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Peace out and have yourself a great day.